This is the original drawing of the Beatles. The famous Beatles, of course, as you've known, and are still part and part of the musical world. Ringo Starr, Paul MacArthur, George Harrison, and John Lennon, the famous man. They arrived in Australia as youngsters, you know, a new world. They didn't know what to expect in Australia, but the crowds went berserk when these young four boys appeared in the first press conference which I attended. There I took a lot of notes, and in those days I used to draw fairly quick. And after, and the person who really helped me in there was Betty Stewart. Betty Stewart was the public relations for the Beatles and other famous uh, boys in the music field. Uh, when the drawing was finished, I took it back and Betty Nelson introduced me to the, the Beatles. Tony did these sketches the other day uh, at a press conference. And now we would like, like me, we would very much like you to have your signatures on each drawing representing each individual. This was done, there was jokes and laughs about the whole thing because the likes of uh, Rigo Star, he, he has the big nose of course, uh, he had a go at, 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 or Paul McCarthy had a go at me, and he went at the stage of his beak as he called it. So really these young fellas were out for a good time, they didn't know what to expect. They were so popular, there was the, the young, I did a lot of sketches of the, the young girls that used to, not used to, but attended the, their concerts. I think they were called Bobby Sockers those days. And as far as I was concerned, I had captured, I didn't realise, of course, and nobody realised how famous these four young people were to become over the years. As we know, they're still famous as a famous group. Unfortunately, Lennon, you know, the tragic end of his life. And, uh, but the boys, McCarthy, of course, now is still in the news. And there's drawings. Not, well, actually, this is the only caricature left in the world. I think it was another one that was done, but it wasn't so... I'll be honest, I don't like to run them down another answer, but it was bloody rubbish. And uh, that's disappeared off the market. But this one is only one, and I've, I've never considered even selling this over those many years because it was part of, the, of my entertainer's collection. I have many famous people. Bob Hope, Louis Armstrong, Nat King Cole, you know, and some liberality. Many other famous people I have sketched in the entertainment field. And this was the one that was the pinnacle of the, all those great in the field of entertainment. And I had intentions then, when you were going to buy, if everybody was going to buy the entertainment collection, this would be the pinnacle of drawing to go with it. But now I've decided, after all these years, and my, and my age of course, you can't live forever, I've decided to put it on in the auction. There is a price to it, and there's one or two or three people in the world would love to have this drawing.